ran down here, so I just told Shelly that, of course, at school, you just didn't know. And it's time to start, isn't it? Well, I guess we better start. Let's call a meeting. And the purpose of the meeting is the uh, issue of the new ordinance. And uh, I think both the ladies in the office have some good questions for us. I'm not sure all the answers yet, but we'll try to entertain all the questions. First one here, uh, two dates to cut off. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what the way it was, which way you want to go. Uh, I, I think part of the issue with that is it, on the rental side, the housing authority had indicated, because we've been telling people, the renters, that, you know, this, the cutoff date's going to change. They've indicated they cannot, they don't get to check until the 15th. So when the 11th, when the 11th comes, they're automatically shut off. Uh, and, and you know, it is having two dates fair or equitable to, for everybody. What's the uh, current cutoff date? 24. Are you talking about people that are getting like Social Security and stuff? Uh, that's Amy and you don't Yeah, and I think some of them are SSI. Yeah, maybe. That, that, that's what's Social Security. Well, there's a different uh, the Social Security, uh, Social Security uh, like uh, you and I would receive, and then there's SSI, which is comes out a different fund. Oh. So you know, see, they, I mean, they have these checks are strung out all through the month because, like, you know what kind of check you get? Yeah, because if you're getting a dis, some people on a disability check get it the second Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what, would be the, what would be the pleasure of being in the group? How would they want? How, what do you recommend to solve that? <laughs> I mean, normally we read meters on around the 15th of every month, so. I can see Bill do, being due by the 15th and shut off on the 16th. Or, or how do, about? Or at least do a 10 day grace period. You know, Bill doing the 10th, penalty add on the 11th and shut off on the 20th. But then you're not. What are we currently doing? Shut off on the 24th. What? On the 24th. And they read the, they read the meter when? 15th. Okay. 15th. Question. You used to talk about the people who got their check on the 15th. Are, their bill, are they always pay their bill late? Seriously, yeah. I've got the hiccups, y'all. I've had it two days now. I can't oh get over them, so please don't. If I make funny sounds, it's not because of y'all. But that's that again. I know, I know that's bad and everything. But they have to, you know, they have to function for that. We can't, we can't get everything to fit everybody. Now Shelby had eight hundred or something on uh, penalty list this time. So if we send people out. Six hundred to turn off that day. I think he don't have. We had eight hundred people with late charge, late bills. Yes, yeah, eight hundred thirty-six customers mm -hmm. with late charges. On a How normal, many? On a normal, on a normal shut off month, there's about thirty or thirty-five. It takes two guys a full day because as soon as we turn them off, then guess what? They have a here and pay it. Then we got to go back and turn it back on. Mm -hmm. What was the reason? I mean, this month. It's, it's like, like, it's like every month. month. There's eight. There's eight hundred people a month that don't pay their bill on, the, on time. I mean, is normally, it, oh, is it uh, regularly? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're getting, a, we're getting. A, I mean, that's new information. <laughs> on, a, on a ten percent charge, you're getting actually that's a little bit to our benefit. Mm -hmm. And you've got some that will never come in to the twenty third to pay. But I always thought but I thought you got some that just don't have the money, and when they get it, they come in to pay it. Well, what would we pay? Say that I'm not sure we want to, but. Put the tenant on all, all of the 24. Would that be more equitable? That's what it is. That's what it is. I know we stay like we are now. Would so, be better? on the 24th, how many do you usually shut off? Between 30 and 35. So, the, I only thing, the only thing the other night when all the landlords were here. Yeah, we'd have to reinforce a little bit different. Agreement, yeah. If it, do you know if it's not feasible for the vampire, you can't many? continue with it. How many of, I mean, I was working on going through all of my lease agreements. I'm in, they're sort of by alphabet last name. So as of right now, um, I'm through to the letter L, and I have 264 wow. tenants, uh, renters. Really? So I don't know how many <laughs> of those exactly have not paid their let me Let me ask you this. On the 30 to 35, how many have theirs turned back on on that? 
75, 80 percent? Yeah. We're turning back on the same day. Yeah. Okay. So if that would be 20, 21 to 25 yeah. on average. So we're going to have about 10 a month that actually water's going to stay cut off. Yeah. And around 25 that will have their water turned back on and pay the $100 deposit every month. Uh, I think, now this is just my opinion, if we're just looking at 10 people, we've got to, we need to try to accommodate the, everybody else Everybody else, if we can. So I, I mean, my personal opinion, as far as that goes, is that we're going to have to set that cutoff date out either the 15th or the 20th, or 16th to the 20th. That's still not four days. And four days could mean a lot of water, but they still don't give Empire Romans two cutoff dates, right, Larry? No, give yeah. everybody. Not unless you change the cutoff date the same for everybody. Make everybody the 20th. I think so everybody, everybody the 20th. That's a whole lot easier for the office staff to keep up with renter versus non renter. But they won't increase how many you're going to be cutting off on the 20th? It, it still will increase some, probably, mm -hmm. because they, you know, they said that a bunch of pays about on the 23rd. And some of them, they just know they have until, like, you know, they may get paid on the 10th, but, I mean, they're already getting the penalty. They're what? They're going right. So they're yeah. just going to wait two more weeks and pay them. Wait until the very last minute. Yeah. So once we, once we move that cutoff date, say, to the 20th, then we've got the part of that group that will come on in and pay. Yeah. We're thinking, yes. Okay. Another question. All right. Is it... Say we move it to the 20th, and these, there's 35 now that you have to shut off, and it goes to say 50. Just throwing that out there. Well, all 50 have to pay a re reconnect fee. Again, I apologize. If they, they get shut off, yes. First time, first offense is $50, second offense is $100. And, and a lot of times, shelter will call people, or we will call them. Or somebody will just say, hey, did something, cut off date. Now, if we change the date to the 20th, we'll probably call all of them just to say this is in place now you're all going to have to get that bill. I have no problem changing it to 20. What, huh? what, what we have done in the past if somebody gets cut off if they will agree to go on auto pay we'll waive the $50 connection. That, that way we know we're getting the money. For that from now on? From now on. Now we, I went on auto pay. No, I went on auto pay. <laughs> Me too. Because I always forget it that I have to pay two months instead of one. So. I, I, I don't, I don't mean to interject. Me to the meeting and then carry it Is, <laughs> Have you ever talked to the people that come in regularly where if you, like, would there be a day you could move it down the line that would help them in some way, shape, or form? They'd want too much down the road. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just wondered because from, from what you all were talking about, and like you said, people that are on fixed incomes, it's the day. I think everybody's everybody's different on the day. Like it's literally like either your last name. I think you get it on a certain day, and and it, yeah, this is because it's not like Social Security hits everybody that's on Social Security gets it the same day. I think it's broken. I think it's broken down by like your last name or when you were born or something. But yeah, I just wondered if there was a, a better day. Is there anything, uh, Richard? Why? I can't remember the night what we said why they were moved to the one day after another were left alone. What was the rationale? I mean, because they went with renters. Yeah. That's where we're having a problem. I think that'd be a problem. Yeah, the renters, the renters were getting shut off quicker because they, that way they couldn't run their water water bill up. Yeah. So the landlords, if they were stuck with that bill, they weren't stuck stuck with as much of a bill. I see what we were doing to the landlords, but we created another little monster here. Yeah, I think by increasing the. Deposit. We're gonna cut that out. A well, lot of that out. You know, and, and we do we do give people leniency if they call and say I can't pay you know on cutoff date. Can you give me to Friday? We say yes. But now with with what Paul told the gentleman was, we would be responsible for that portion. We're not if we no, agree to it. We're not gonna have no leniency. You gotta have some though. There's certain people you can't help. Well, okay. Here's the problem, Kevin. Uh, somebody, of course, is based on the renter side of it. They call and say they can't pay it. So we're going to be responsible from from the cutoff date, which is the 11th or the 20th or 24th, till and if they get shut off, that the landlord's not going to be responsible, correct? So when they call, I've got to send somebody out and get a, a reading off the meter to know how much the city's got to eat 
versus where they stop at the mail rooms. That's just an extra trip. And the, there won't be one, five, 10, 15, there are gonna be 40, 50, 60. So the leniency that we're gonna have will be, on my behalf is gonna be zero. We still have one more week left until shutoffs, which we don't shut off on Friday just because the weekend, we don't want them to go without water for the weekend. But we still have one week left and I probably already have five to 10 arrangements and that's gonna more than likely double or triple next week. And now if the shutoff date it, it gets changed to a the 20th, the 20th mm -hmm. and the 20th falls on a Friday. Are we gonna shut off? Are we gonna shut off? What do you do now? Because, because, because on Friday. We, we don't now because we because a lot of people don't get home from work and it's find out time. that they don't have water until we've already closed. Yeah. Well, I'd have to think we'd have to keep that same. You know, it falls the 20th falls on a Friday. What would that happen twice a month, twice a year, maybe? Well, I'm, I'm just, just I'm scrolling through I'm here. I'm playing right devil's there. advocate here. Uh, the landlord said cut off next 20 while they're going to be good for two extra days if they didn't pay the bill. Yeah. If there's just a little language change in that ordinance that you passed. You know, cutoff day is going to be on the twentieth, unless it falls on a Friday. Does it fall on Monday? You know, we're, we're plowing up. up ground here that really it's all new. We we just don't really have an answer. I'm not sure we can make an answer today. We may have to have kind of another call meeting to try to come up with an answer to this. Because we might have a knee jerk reaction to the question and then give change something. It may not be the thing we really want to do. So we're going to have to think about this a little while. Yeah. And two, whenever you all had talked about it, we already had an ordinance in place. So we had to amend the ordinance we had instead of adding it to that other ordinance. We had an ordinance about the cutoffs and the deposits and all that, so you have to have first and second reading on that to change it. Well, what I would recommend, Jill, uh, if we got all this confusion, uh, let's put these uh, ordinance in uh, the enactment of this ordinance. Uh, That's what I said about table times. that for a while until we can get this worked out. I don't care to, to admit it to say that if it kind of falls on Friday, we adjust it and goes till Monday. Well, I was saying well, there's other questions they got too, and I'm not sure we can answer them all today. I'm, I'm with you, Charles. I know we, they go ahead and do the first reading on the ordinance. You need the first reading on that water ordinance to change it. I see the, to the, the positive was the ordinance on the side. On the side. So we, we have the first reading on the ordinance, the water part of change. And then what else will it? And it's on that. Well, we, we don't know the cutoff date yet, yeah. so yeah. we don't we can't talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. it. We can do it. I you mean, we did it. That. That. That's the way the motion was made in, in two different parts, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. If we want to do the deposit, we can do yeah. that. Yeah, we can do that. That'll, that'll automatically help some. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if we do that. Well, then tell us, let's wait on the cutoff date. We'll have to, I think we ought to wait on it. Yeah, I think that we need to. Uh, if we want to move on to that motion to. Uh, I'll second. Positive. I'll second what you're saying, Charles. Yeah. We're approving the deposit, right? Yes. Yes, the deposit. Just, just, okay, just, right. just for clarity, what was the old deposit? What's the new deposit? Oh, the old deposit one fifty. The new one's two fifty. Okay. For residential. No, I thought it was for rental. Residential. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. sorry. But another issue that I seen was. We have residential renters who are going to start paying 250. But if beefs was starting up tomorrow, I would say, okay, your deposit's 300. When they use so much more water than Jane Doe up Second Street. Well, let's get let's get this deposit yeah. here order passed before we start trying to amend it. But we we have two things going here. Yeah, we didn't we didn't work on it. Did we even? Discuss the commercial that he No, it wasn't brought up. It wasn't brought up. So you would have but to we don't want to deal with the introduction. There was a commercial guy here. We did talk yeah. about it, but not the deposit. He took it out of the ordinance of work. So yeah. all in favor of the reading of the deposit? Yes. Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, uh, Any opposed? That motion passes. So I would say let's table the uh, water cutoff tape so we can have some more information. Clarity, but we, I'm not sure about even changing it anymore. Yeah, well, and that's that's where the, yeah, I, I can say that because we don't get into a, an issue here where that we're making it. I mean, I understand we're trying to help, but we've got to help everybody. I mean, or make it fair, equitable for everybody. 
and I'm not sure that that right now we we, we can do that. Well, we also don't want the girls and Larry to death either. Yeah. I mean, I they, mean the way it's set up right now, they're going to be running up and down the streets. They're going to be pulling their hair out because of the bills. And did we pass an order the night to be the eleventh? No. The cutoff was going to be the tenth. The, 10. 10. the, the first the reading was no, this. No, the order, the order's on the cutoff. It's got to be the first and second reading. Yeah. It's actually it's on. on, on yeah. It's on that first. The cutoff the is, on, is actually on your deposit order. All that's together. together. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that two separate ones. What y'all passed the day on the one was the landlord being responsible. Uh, you have a copy of charge on unpaid bills after yeah. the eleventh of the month. So the other night you discussed some numbers. What what is what is the issue that you're dealing with here? What is that costing you annually? I think last year was five thousand dollars. Okay. It's average six over the past five years, I think is what okay. I figured out. I think it was thirty six thousand over the last five years or something like that. Yeah, and it has gotten a little bit better. better due to the fact that before we changed it, we used to get cut off to the second or third of the month after. Now we, we did push it up to twenty, you know, twenty fourth, but it used to be the next. That's kind month. of following suit with other cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason the reason I bring it up, and it's just my way of thinking, is you have to start thinking about how much extra work you've got to do pulling guys off to do this, do that, and how how quickly does it eat into the five or six thousand dollars? Well in the middle of summer and we're having a concert or something, there's no way we can do everything. Yeah. A lot of people are, a lot of the guys are down at the amphitheater. Yeah, so I say so. They, they'd be we'd be working everybody by death. Well I'm not sure you can deal with three of y'all, but I'm not sure about that how what to do in that, that paragraph. Because we've already, what, had one reading of it mm -hmm. the other night? No, the first, this is the first reading. Okay, so it hadn't been, we didn't vote the, on the other night. Oh, shut shut off. Off. I What did we vote on the other night? I thought we did the first reading too. It was, did we just vote on what we're going to do? That was to correct it, but we didn't vote on it as a as an ordinance, did we? We just voted on it as a suggestion. Like what you all were talking about doing was like adding it into that ordinance. But we couldn't add it into that ordinance because it already stood as its own ordinance. Gotcha. Yeah, but what passed was the landlord being responsible right. after the eleven. So that had to be amended too if the dates changed. Well, that's what's going to be said. We got so many things going here. I'm not sure which date's up. And Larry, wasn't that the second reading on that? That was yeah. the second reading. So that one was passed. That was passed, but the, the date is invalid because that ordinance is on its own. It's on different ordinance. Yes. So it, it's, it's, it stands as of the landlord is responsible. But it doesn't have but a date. The date has got to go back to the 24th because if the ordinance is standing on ordinance. Yeah, and I don't like that, going back to the 24th, when we told everyone that we're going to it's go the 11th. Yeah. But if we made it the 20th, we're kind of splitting the difference there. I just, I'm kind of lost, but... I'll go with the agreement of the whole group. Well, I don't, I don't well, think I'm, we're going to. I'm with like you. I think we need to take a look and do it. some. Yeah. Do you have any num numbers, figures, data, or anything for us? I need to probably have it by now. And I don't want to put more work on you to <laughs> gather yeah. that data. I'm trying to get through all my lease agreements right now. Yeah. And figure out who's a tenant in the computer and who's not so I can run a report that way. But. That'll show us how many are actually late. Right. So that, that's what I was going to ask. So you're looking at tenants. Of the 200 you said you're at on the L's, yeah. are those people late? Or? No, that's one thing I'm like, I can't technically run a report for. <coughs> like, even if we do two different shut off dates, I'll have my penalty register and then I'll have my list of tenants and I'm going to have to go through my list of tenants and see if they're on that. Okay. Like it doesn't give me two separate. We ones. can table this, can't we, until we get more information? Well, we might agree to remain at the twenty fourth till we can come to a better arrangement. What if we split the difference and make it the seventeenth? Because we did say the other night that it, how, how would that affect? Yeah. It wasn't becoming effective until the ordinance was passed. Because so. we're reading the fifteenth, we're going to reread on the sixteenth, seventeenth. Yeah, reading, yeah. yeah, yeah so that's. Days. 
But like I said, until we get more clarity, it might be easier just to take that and quote till we get this settled. Mm -hmm. So the 20th would be more reasonable, you're thinking? Yeah. I it's think don't change it because well, that's I what we I wasn't. I was just thinking, trying to figure out what the best type to change it might be too. I don't think we know yet. I don't think yeah. we I don't think I we think come leave it as it is because that's what we relayed to everyone here that until the ordinance was passed, right? Is that, I mean, the... It, it, it's, it's still the 24th. Yeah. It's still, still the 24th right now. Exactly. exactly. Right. Until we pass the ordinance right. saying it's the 11th right. or the whatever. Right. And that's what we told the folks. Has anybody hooked up with the 250 yet? I had to pay the 250. I talked to someone on the phone yesterday asking what the deposit was, and I told him it was 250. Which is which is but not. He has it's a not, it's not two fifty. Second reading. Second reading. Well, this was the second reading, though, wasn't it? So no. he said it no, was his first reading. So before he comes in, in so. We can deal with the deposit side of this can't yeah. we, today. Yeah, well, we did. We already voted on it, but you got to have a second reading. Now, I mean, it's yeah. got to be a second reading, yeah. but. So we can either do have another special call meeting and order to get the deposit to the bank or and have a second reading for the deposits, and then the, next yeah. month's reading you would have. The only thing we've dealt with today is the first reading on the deposits. Right. And, that, and that's it. And we need a little more information on what the manpower okay. and the logistics. We need some logistics ideas about how. And I was thinking that the other night, that was something that we conveyed in that meeting Monday night, is that we still have to work on the logistics side of some of this. Can I ask a question? I think so. This is, I don't know if anybody knows the answer to this question. But when you get Social Security down, isn't it required you have to have a bank account to have direct deposit? Yes. So can we not make it mandatory no. that you have to have direct, you have no, to have mandatory? They can, they can also get it on a card. Oh, that's right. That's you right. Also that's how my get cousin it on got this. Card. The yeah, my cousin. I was his guardian, and he had a debit card. So can, can they not have to be have to be able to furnish a card or or a, a bank we account don't run cards, where it makes it automatic? We do cards. And then, don't the, then the then the other side of that is on so many of them they've got a payee that actually is the mm -hmm. one that handles it. It depends on whether you're on. It depends on what type of social security you're on. If you're on the type of disability, more than likely you have a payee that handles your money. Mm -hmm. So you not only got to chase those folks with, like that, but you've got to figure out who their payee is. I figure that's coming down the road that we're going to want to have, we we'll take debit cards. We're going to have to probably get to that point. Well, we and then get a, say, if you don't do a debit card, you have to do direct pay. So why couldn't it cut coming? Yeah, we take debit card, debit and credit cards now, mm -hmm. but we just can't save them. You can't we do can't it like draw money yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. you can't do it from a drive. They, they got to be there physically every every month. Yes, if they are going to so take the card, it has to be. But, they have to come down here. But why can't they be drawn every month off a credit card? What what is the reasoning? Because we well, the numbers on file. The, the issue with it is, is well, no, like if you have an account on a website that takes money out, like a subscription, you've got an account. They're just running a card for a single. But this is an account. If I mean, yeah, it's their water <clears throat> account, and we link a bank account with them. So, I mean, if they have a debit card, they're going to have a bank account. If right. they bring me a voided check, it comes out of that bank account that is linked to their debit My card. My thing on the debit cards and credit cards is once you put that in your database, and you, you're subject <laughs> to have a database hack. But that's, that's on anything. That's your bank or anywhere else, too. You know? I mean... Let's look at that option a little bit more. Take that available uh, to them and stress it highly. But, uh, so we need we need to have a. We're just going to say if we don't do anything. We're going to say the 24th right now. Correct. That's what we need to do. Then we'll probably need to set a date to come back. They have to get the re reload and re more ammunition and come back. Do have any more questions? How many total customers you have? I think I sent out about 1,700 water bills a month. And how many of them are late? 836. Half the people in Beaver Dam are late on their water bills? We have people that you know. I was like that. I'm not knocking it. I, that's why I put my direct deposit. Yeah. And, and they will put a check in the night drop the morning of cutoffs every single month. 
I used to, I used to, <laughs> I, I used to pay the ten percent penalty every now and then, just on because that's just the way my money happened to come in. I mean, ten percent is a lot better than the cutoff. <laughs> so I, I paid the ten percent. So when you all take cards, do you have to? What do you deal with uh, card fees? Is it additional? Or do you all eat it? No, I don't. Okay, that's all. Right. I, I, I just know because. Uh, T-Mobile is fixing to make, uh, they, they give you a $5, I think they give you a $5 uh, discount if you do automatic pay, yeah. but they're fixing to make it, it's got to be a bank account because they're trying to get away from credit card fees. Yeah, even debit card are getting where they won't charge 3%. Mm -hmm. And we charge 2.75 yeah. to run a debit card. When, when I was in Florida, everybody, everywhere I went in, they said, you pay cash? Yeah, I said, well, you say 5%, 3%? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's okay. Cash is good for me. I don't care. So as of right now, we've dealt with the deposit, which is what we one of the things that we really needed to do, and the other one we're going to table until we have the further information. Well, it's still going to help the, the rental people and the, the yeah. person that's doing the rent. So that's going to help. It may not be perfect, but... <coughs> We're, like I said, we're going to have to have more information. We're going to have to figure it out better. And I was under the impression that Monday night that we made that statement that we would have to look at some of this further. And uh -huh. I, I, I may have been wrong. I may not have been listening good enough. But the only thing I understood that we put in stone was, or, and I'm not wasn't sure that it was even in stone Monday night, was the fact that the deposit. I guess I wouldn't. I know that they wanted that cutoff date to the minute if they could get it, but we were under when we talked to you. And the impression that I had in the meeting was that we were just going to have to discuss this cutoff a little bit further. I didn't know there was going to be any amendments <clears throat> to that ordinance. You know, it, it was discussed in the first meeting, the, the first passage was what wasn't paid, the landlord was. Possible. Yeah, I think that all came about because of the uh, uproar of the landlords and misinformation they had about them being responsible for the whole bill. And that's the only way we got them to calm down was to compromise on that. Well, probably before we should have passed anything, we should have sat down and, because like a lot of the, the girls come up with this question, well, how are you going to do this? Do you have a manpower? Like, I didn't think of it. You know, I At first, we didn't even know if we could separate the renters from the homeowners, but we figured out a way to do that, so. Well, until we get some a little better guidelines, I think we're going to yeah. come back to, we may have that a special call meeting, okay? Well, we've already, we've already helped. Well, we need to have a special call meeting fairly soon for the second reading of 250. But remember that Cutoff dates are on the same ordinance. I know. But so can the, the so quicker, we have to change it again? You will have to. But the quicker we get the 250 established, yeah. the quicker it helps us on people leaving yeah. and also on what the landlord's going to pay. So if you need to read type it, we need to come back and do another first reading again? No, this you already done first reading. Okay, we got to retype it up though. Yes. Yeah, so, I'm, so is this? And a, that happens between the first and second reading. Okay. Is this a new ordinance that you just this, passed? This is no. just amending it's the just ordinance of the deposit. Amending. Okay. So it's amending. The, the only thing we changed was the deposit. That's the only thing. But we this changed was the first that. reading of that. I don't want okay. to say we did back ourselves in the corner. Yeah. yeah. And then what? If, uh, if y'all can help come up with the help solution, you guys will just do it. You guys are in the front line. I, what I say and what I recommend may not be the best thing. No, and I mean, they even so, even, Larry, you can give it to the ladies. Oh, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, even, I mean look, even. y'all are, you know, it's like, it's like when something goes on out there on the, on the road. We don't hear about it unless Larry tells us about it. And his men may tell him about it. He comes and tells us about it. So if you have something, you need to go tell Larry. Or y'all need to contact us individually and, and make sure we know. Because yeah. well, we don't, we're not here every day. One we don't of know. the issues, like... Y'all were all discussing it at the meeting and then said, okay, this is what we can do. But my issue was you didn't check with the office staff. Well, it sounded easy to just, do, and it really wasn't. Yeah, it's not. It's, it, it can't just Well, you know what? I just like to tell you, we had to appease some people, and you know that's what happened. Yeah. 
So if we if the, the word that handling come up with a better solution, what we're gonna need from you. Because what I say may not work. I'm I'm believing that if we change if we can move that cutoff date to as close as we can and still be within to where we're not gonna be you, you know what we deal with every month. And if we can move that cutoff date, any, any way we can move it closer to that. that so are you, are you talking about everybody's cutoff date? Everybody's cutoff date. So you're, the, the, the two cutoff dates is out. That's a nightmare. Yeah, I, so I figured. You can't, we can't. Honestly, I thought that tonight. I was like, wow, that's going to be a nightmare. Well, I, I can't uh, I, I wasn't. Well, I think you brought up, was I going to have the vampire to do it? And I'm thinking, well, it's going to be 30 or 40 like always. And then they pulled that report and it was 800 or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm like you. When you told me 800, I was like in shock. None of us expected that information. And my thing, my thing was the other night, or thinking anyway, if we got to look at the, the legality of, of uh, it's got to be equitable for everybody. It's got to be. It's got to be equitable. And it, I, I, the word that I'm looking for escapes me. But by the way, anybody that needs help on their water bill, if they go to Audubon area, South Beaverdam, they two to four hundred dollars. Just tell well, them. Well, that's another do. issue that we have. Like we, Audubon will send us a paper saying, "Hey, I'm sending." Three hundred dollars on so and so's water bill. Well, that may be two or three months before you get it. Before, before we get it, so they're already way uh -huh. over their Didn't credit that. if they don't come in and just make a payment. You know, just to pay something on it, so they'll have it after their full autumn payment is made. But are we going to eat that? Or is the city going to eat that because we accepted arrangements from Audubon? To pay three hundred dollars on somebody's water bill, and we couldn't shut them off because we had arrangements from Audubon that they were paying. Hmm. Well, that's one of the things that we just can't really cover everything. We may be we have to eat it. I never thought about that yesterday. I, I was talking to a, a lady from Audubon at the Health Coalition meeting, and she was like, "We've got all this money. We've got to spend." Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't know how the payouts went. If the payouts don't go that fast, then. Well, yeah, anything that's yeah. got to do with the government is going to be slow. Yeah. That's what I do. That's all, all we can do today. So, Larry, can you oversee this next step of trying to find some actual way to handle this? We will definitely discuss it. We'll take, a, we'll, we'll take ideas to look at. I mean, yeah. That we've got to look at it. Give us more than one if you can. <laughs> well, I mean, you all have a cutoff date coming up. Don't you? Pretty soon. Yeah, well, I mean, that, 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 can, can you not look at can you not look at today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and see how many people? Oh yeah. See how because that that's that's how you're going to figure out your day. Okay. If you got 800 today, when do you I, have 700 tomorrow? Do when you I have, made a deposit the yesterday, I mean it probably took about 100 people off. So I mean, granted, we still have a week left, and say I do get. 100 customers that come in every day and pay. Um, I mean, that cuts it down a lot, but you're still looking at quite a few, you know. So keep from having two cutoffs that want to find a date that is equitable to handle that amount of people. Okay. So are we trying to move the cutoff day closer to our reading days? Well, the dates are kind of going out for maybe the ground 20th instead of the 24th. So that you're not necessarily a month behind in your water bill like everybody has always been? Now, the closer we can move it to the reading day, the better off we'll be. And, uh, you know, the payday is set up on the 10th with the reading day set up on the, point, on the 15th. 13, 15, yeah, that's 20, that's 25 days. But so the way it was, at 24 days, you're set up. At 24 days, it's 29 days, which would have been equal to a month. I mean, no matter what. Either way, we, either way, we can, if we can move it closer to that 15th, to me, it looks like we are helping. But what, what happens if we move the cutoff at the 15th? I've already got three guys out reading and rereading meters, so I'm down three guys that I can't have shutting on. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. We've got to figure out an equitable way to get to as close to the 15th as we can and still leave us breathing room to be able to do the work. And hopefully, that's the least amount of meter we'd have to deal with. Yeah. You know, the first two or three months is going to be big enough to try and get a balanced new cycle. You know, I understand that. I would hope after that it would be a little smoother. But the, 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 uh, the, bad, the bad situation, what's going to happen is all the butt chewing that they're going to be throwing out and cussing is going to go to these girls right here. That's right. That, I mean, that's not, that's not fair to them, but I'm not sure what we can do. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about it because they're just going to take what we're going to give it. We just make Larry stand off of oh, it with you all night. That's why I said Monday or Tuesday, so we just need a security officer in here. Well, if you need somebody to come in, and, and once we make this change, if you need somebody to come in, that's what I took the job for. I, mean, I didn't take the job to make you guys have to take butt eatings that I deserve. So you call me if I need to do it or send them to me. I don't care. That's, what about the 18th? That's a, I mean, that's a day. That, I mean, right now what we're looking at is those dates thrown out to us and well, that's what we can't handle it today anyway. You didn't, you didn't get that the best date with all your numbers to so like to balance out. That's well, the final date. Today's the seventh day. Let's go in Monday and see how many has been paid. And just record it each day from now to the 24th. And then give, give them some stats. So what's, what's the I'm average bill? I'm going to be in town next week from, from Thursday through Saturday. I mean, are some astronomically so, high? Some I mean, if, yeah. if you guys got to do something, I'll be in town. And I've got to be in Mississippi. We'll do what we can do. Okay. So, if there's nothing else to talk about on the end, I think we would adjourn. I make motion we adjourn. Second. I was going to make Mackenzie mayor for two minutes.